Well, little girl, I'm gonna miss you. Some of the best memories I've ever had, some of the greatest accomplishments we've ever made because of you. I just don't know if things will be the same around here without you. What's up and good morning guys, welcome back to another video. So we've had a lot of people come to the warehouse lately playing ping pong. You know, I, I thought I was good, I thought I was decent. I mean, maybe not good, but, but who knew how many of my friends kick butt at ping pong? So, you know, I kinda got it set up right here, doing some training right now. See if I can hit the camera. And now I gotta go pick all the stupid balls up. So we are waiting on Wes to show up and I actually think I, maybe, maybe? I can't tell, I don't know if that's Wes. But we're waiting on Wes to show up. Um, today, I mean, th today might mark a kind of monumental day on the channel. As you guys, uh, you know, may have read in the title. I've been searching all over town and I finally found a dealership that has a 2020 GMC uh, 2500 HD in stock. I mean, supposedly in stock, we'll see. Sometimes they kind of try and bait and switch you. What's up, bro? So what happened, you, man? You all right, dude? No, he's Why are you so jumpy, dude? I, I didn't expect you to come out. Oh, I, didn't I, I come out with the camera every time you guys are ever here. Yeah, but I looked in <laughs> and I didn't see nobody. How you been, man? We miss you on the channel. We haven't seen you in like all of a day. 12 hours? Yeah, man. How you been? Give us a little life update, man. How's the, how's the hairline going? Better than ever. Nice. It looks great. Dude. Increasing look, at the every I don't day. know what it is, but you're putting off this, this glow of like happiness. Really? Yeah. I've been feeling real down, so I don't know where that's what that's going. Maybe I'm just masking it. I don't know. You want me to call Chris to come give you a hug? So we're going to hop in the old BBB build here, and we're going to go pick Wes up. I think he's over at the front of the warehouse. Hop on in, pal. My Uber for the day. There you go. So you guys know I've been to many dealerships on the channel, and I've told you guys like there's a lot of different experiences I've had there. Typically, nowadays, it seems like uh, most car salesmen aren't as hungry to uh, sell cars, so you walk on the law and like nobody wants to talk to you. I don't know, have you had that same experience? Um, what was the question again? Jeez, this guy. You know, today, actually, I think uh, I think we're kind of both in the market for new trucks, aren't we? I mean, I mean Wes has been getting a little itch lately to, to get himself a diesel. I wouldn't mind a diesel, but obviously, I'd have to get some pretty penny for my truck. Oh, bro, we'll just take it to uh, CarMax and we'll see what they give you for it. So being that today we actually want to talk to a salesman, you know, we're bringing the all BBB because I, I hope this spells like, hey, I can afford that truck that we're looking at versus like, you know, me showing up looking like the, the ragtag, I don't know, gross bearded, long haired guy that <laughs> I do. So we came to look at uh, trucks, but old Wes over here got, got a little distracted He's also been in the market to buy an Escalade. I don't know why. I've always wanted to lift an Escalade. I think they look good, but Lacey I have- Blair, where you at? Wes well, is coming not, for you. Not that big, more more like the, the same height that mine's at, but. Well, there you go, bro. We got us a 15. I like this color. This one's 60 grand. This one's 45 grand, Wes. I can see you in an Escalade, bro. Wes, you need to go back to your old roots, dude. Throw some 30s on it. Do it like you used to do it back in Florida. The reason I wanted one is because when I was looking for my truck after my other one got stolen, all the Escalades come with six twos. The Silverados, you gotta get an LTZ or or better interior to get a, a six two, and then for the Denali or for the GMCs, you need an SLT or a Denali. Hey, Wes. 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 Hey, Ryan. Ryan. Josh. Dude, you guys look like you could be brothers. <laughs> you from Florida? Florida? Are you from Florida? I'm from the East Coast, not from Florida. Though. That's close. See. <laughs> I don't know if it's already sold. I saw it in the service line. 2020. 2500 HD. It's not sold yet. It's not sold yet. Supposed to be it's supposed to be Monday, Tuesday. It's supposed to be sold. Well, can we look at it? Absolutely. Yeah, let's go take a look. All right, Wes, we found her, buddy. We found her. What do you think? Not a bad looking truck. has a little bit of a dodge look to it when you kind of approach it from that back side. The, the bedside's a little weird. The, the rear bedside, that's a little bit weird. 
Ram. I should say Ram, not a Dodge. Oh, yeah, you can't. Oh, it's open. Perfect. Of course it's open. It's that's how my truck got stolen. <laughs> Mine got stolen. They told me that the people hit the, the GMC dealer, the Hyundai dealer down there because they're all within a mile of each other. So, oh, no, if you guys are. remember the dealership I went to where we talked about whether or not you should buy a lifted truck from the dealer, actually at that dealership, Wes's truck got stolen. What is that? All Tire that. sensors. Oh. <laughs> For free, I guess. Wes's truck, before the one he has right now, actually ended up getting stolen from that dealership. So then I guess what, they totaled it and got you a new one? What? What happened? Go read my Facebook or my Instagram because no, right. it did not happen. Oh, it, was a, it wasn't that easy? I do not like whatever two-tones going on right here with the seat. You don't? I, I think that's ugly. I don't know. Is it a gray or a blue? It's like a blue. I got to say, though, I do like the little in-seat storage things. I don't know exactly what you're going to put in here, but they're kind of nice. The seats are... It's a soft, fake leather, whatever this stuff is. Nice deep cup holders. It's rare that you find super deep cup holders in the armrest there. You get a combination lock box in here. Is that a locker down? Rear seat, AC vents, which is nice because our trucks do not have that. I don't know why they held off so many years. The old trucks, my 05 had it. The rear seat's actually pretty comfortable. Um, I don't know, the back's kind of hard though. Let's see if Wes breaks anything today because he likes to touch everything. You comfy, Wes? Oh, dang. Whoever was sitting here sits like Chris. I do really, really like this look, which is like a matte wood grain, but you actually feel the texture of the wood in there. Um, the Escalades actually did that first. They do it with like a grayer wood. And I think it's a really, really nice look. Got a little custom HD right there in the headlight. Front end on these things, I love it. I know a lot of people are kind of on the fence about the front ends of these things. Obviously, if you compare it to the front end of the Chevy, the GMC looks a million times better. The mirrors, that's like everybody's biggest issue with these trucks and don't get me wrong i'm in a similar boat i'm not the biggest fan of the mirrors but i think we all know give it time they're all going to grow on us and i believe it's a uh, boost auto that makes like all the aftermarket mirrors boost auto claims they've got a solution for these trucks that will actually move the mirrors to the old school location that are on our trucks and then they supposedly have a solution also for covering up whatever holes are now going to be left in the door so i'm curious to see what they come out with but I think the aftermarket world is really going to jump on these trucks pretty quickly and uh, a lot of the issues people are complaining about are going to be alleviated right off the bat. Now one of my biggest issues with these trucks is these super ugly like your huffy bicycle when you were a kid reflectors that they put on here. The front fenders get them as well as the rear and they just stand out so much. One of the things I hate the most about trucks is amber crap all over them and why they went just bright amber on these things i don't know i'm sure this is going to be also something that the aftermarket world fixes really quick with something smoked or something like that but everybody will finally be happy to see that they're actually doing the pillars in black you get the 360 degree cameras all the way around front camera which we had to add on my truck so it's nice to see that those are coming factory now that looks like the engine block heater plug in yeah that's a nice spot for it though instead of having the cord coming out from under the hood and before anybody says it yes i know Ford typically seems to be kind of the leader in like technology for cameras and all the stuff that they integrate into the vehicles. GM has always been lacking on that and I have no problem admitting that, but I'm glad to see finally that they're actually catching up with that. Wes, what do you see under there, buddy? Well, it's still a torsion bar front suspension and it still rides on that factory bump stop for some reason. I don't Instead know. of cranking it up like an inch? Well, no, like I just don't understand it. Why are they still running on a, a torsion bar and then you don't have a whole lot of downward travel if it's gonna ride on the bump stop already. Put your head next to this thing. Like this front end you as a resemblance? There, dude, there, this front end, the size of it kind of resembles your forehead, dude. That is a, that maybe, is a large maybe it front was, end. the truck was made for me then. Do it's you mind the, the charcoalish gray? I don't know what color this is, but I don't mind it. I actually I do like this color. I think this is better than black, because it almost looks black from a distance and you don't have to deal with all the scratching it's of black. It's got a lot of nice flake and metallic. Uh, there you go. I don't know what's up with this this giant body gap right here, though. That is That's a, Excessive. yeah, is the other side like that? Yeah, well, the other side's not much better. I don't like that. GM seems to have an issue with body panel lines, and we'll talk about that in another video, but. The badging's a little cheesy, though. The, the big Duramax Allison badge. Like, well, I think they're trying to keep up with like Ford's giant badge that they have right here. Ford pulls it off. This looks a little cheapish to me though. Well, somebody's going to come up with some nice ones, some nice aftermarket ones, I'm sure. One of the things that I've always liked about Ford's in the past is that they're just big trucks. And I'm glad to see GM is starting to finally catch up. Like you put a six inch lift on a, you know, F-350 versus a six inch lift on a, you know, 2500 HD, the Ford's always going to sit taller. See the salesman? The salesman's over there looking through the window at us. It's like, what are these guys doing? Good to see that GM is finally upgrading to the 
push button open, push to start, even though it's weirdly low right here. So one thing I gotta say about the interiors, and I saw this on the 2019 1500s when they first came out. If I actually step out of here, there's a Jeep dealership down the street, maybe we should uh, go look at that. But if you look at the, the dash, it's very straight up and down like it is on a Jeep. And I don't like that. I like where it's got like a little curve to it, a little sexiness to it, but it's just very like utilitarian, straight up and down. And then I actually think the interior on these trucks is a downgrade from our trucks, whereas you lose the giant cubby right here that we all, you know, well, I used to store a bunch of crap. Everything's way lower. Even the armrest feels lower. It might not be, but you lose, I don't know, it looks like you lose some of your ports. I think you have actually a little bit more ports in the center console on my truck. And then I'm assuming the screen is the same size, but it looks smaller just based on the orientation and the way that they put it in here. I don't know. Everything's just too straight up and down right here. I, I honestly don't like it compared to our trucks. I think our trucks are superior in that all your 4x4 selection over here. Got your, uh, I'm guessing this is your trailer brake. Uh, trailer brakes over here. I don't know. Trailer brakes over here. There's your trailer brake. I don't know what this is. Some type of trailer mode. And then they got these sweet, I don't know. I don't like these chrome little, it looks like a tin can, like cheap don't fake chrome. Oh, jeez. Okay, apparently the, maybe the key's in it. I don't know what the transmitter pocket is. Place key and transmitter pocket to start vehicle. I don't think we're smart enough for this truck. It's like a much more basic version of what we got already. The door panel is pretty similar to our generation. A little sleeker, I think. You've got a lot less USB ports. Ours is like just loaded with a bunch of USB ports here. Cigarette lighter, cigarette lighter, 110. They've kind of taken a lot less. I mean, I guess you don't need 50 USB ports, but you know, I don't know. I don't know why we're going a lot less of everything. See if the tailgate works without the key. Oh, it does. Woo! Where's that step at? You gotta, you gotta press the tailgate in like succession real quick. Let's put it up. Something like that. There we go. What about that, Wes? What about that? But wait, there's more. Can you uh, hold me? It'll hold you. Yep. Oh, it's creaking. Barely, buddy, barely. So obviously we all know about you can't have a trailer hitch on with the step coming down because it'll hit. But don't worry, they put a they put a warning it's sticker. Got, uh, speed pools installed from the factory. There you go, factory speed pool. It does have a lot of nice bed tie downs though. Yeah, our trucks lack tie down points unless you have the rail and then you put them in the rails. I like how the bed sides sink in too. You get a lot of extra room there. I wonder what the width between the wheel wells is. It, it looks good. it looks pretty big. Cause typically you'd be about right there. It's over four feet. 120 outlet in the bed. Nice feature. Bed lights look like they're in a better spot to actually illuminate the bed that way. I don't know how I feel about this tailgate. How do you even put this up? I gotta push the thing. Wes, we broke it, buddy. Oh, wait. I don't know. I'm one-handed. It's hard one-handed. Oh, jeez, Wes. Good lord, buddy. You just bought the truck, dude. All right, that's a little clumsy. I don't like that. That makes me nervous, dude. I feel like it's a useless feature on the tailgate. Like, do you really need, I, I don't know. I don't mind an extra step getting in, especially when I super lift my trucks, but I don't know. You know, if we run a Gen Y hitch, Gen Y hitches aren't the quickest hitch to take on and off. So we typically, that's why our hitches are on 24 seven. That feature would never be used and I'd be scared of somebody accidentally doing it. I wish there was like a, maybe there is a disable button in the computer somewhere where you can disable that feature from working. Oh, I think we got the keys. Yeah, there we go. How does this yeah, but we were playing with it earlier, so when this is down like that doesn't, uh, I guess it. Yeah, then you just put it up. Yeah, you put like this, and then you just put it up like this. Gotcha. You know, it's it's kind of clumsy. Yeah, let's take it for uh, a... Yeah, let you me guys turn it around. Okay, okay, yeah, you turn it around. Just be careful, okay? Yeah, don't, don't hit us. We'll be over here. We're going to take it on a test drive. Apparently, they don't trust us to turn it around, so I guess we'll, we'll wait for this guy to turn it around and then get on the road. Wes is over here very excited about this uh, CTSV. Are you gonna buy an Escalade or are you gonna buy a CTS? Or are you gonna buy both? Well, are, you, are you rich and I don't know it? $105,000 sticker price. Woo! But I'm confused that it, it's a 2019, but it has the eight speed automatic. I thought they went to the 10 speed. Dimitri. Say, say it again. Dimitri. Ryan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet All you. Right, get out. <laughs> Did you say get out? I'm just kidding. Wes is a lot, so I'm gonna apologize for him. He's 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 a lot of personality. You have any questions so far about all that features in it? Because you have GMC, right? I have a GMC, yeah, but so. this one's got like way more cameras. Does, does, the, it, does the wireless charger work with an iPhone? Oh, yes. Let's, let's well, see. IPhone, all right, let's yeah. see now that it's running. We got a test right here. Oh, there we go. That's the biggest upgrade ever. Our trucks, it doesn't work with the yep. iPhones. How do you do the uh, the back climate? 
the back climbing so it's over there you have two zones actually so um, so it'll be left and right so it's gonna be like somewhere in the middle so you have a bird eye view front camera uh, backup camera too it's like so cool so if I, if I hit my turn signal does it go to a camera on the sides or no it's not gonna turn it so this is like from the front you can see the front, and also the sides so you see gotcha so the sides back so when you park into the curb okay you don't scratch your wheels i like how it's not all distorted like the older 360 cameras it, like when right. it gets to the corner it gets kind of weird and mushy nice. you can see i like that on one i like the bad one now does all this get disabled if i put it in drive right now no you can always go in, in if you go in drive so Can't do let's it. go back so i know you still have that oh dude this is the trip you see this yeah that's and crazy you can also like zoom it so take a look you can put a brightness on it that's crazy. You can zoom it, see what's, who's behind you. Is that a police officer driving? <laughs> About to pull you over. Right? That's crazy. I don't know if I get used to that. That's weird. So that rear view mirror feature is really good if somebody's sitting in this middle seat. Right. And Wes's big forehead's back there. Yeah. yeah. You can still see. This thing drives nice. I mean, it's the L5P, so it's got a lot of power. These cabs are way quieter even than ours, and our cabs are super quiet. So the, the new mirrors on these trucks, the reason they did it is because they're trying to eliminate that blind spot of having the arms coming out like our trucks have. Mm. Um, but looking at that mirror, there's still like it's still in the way. <laughs> there's still a big. This side's better. That side, you, it's still kind of in the way. What's the zero to sixty on this truck? That's, well, we're already at sixty. Let's see what she's got, Wes. You ready? Let's pull her up. I mean, it's got like I like about the Duramax is it just pulls and it keeps it pulling pulls. and it keeps pulling and it keeps pulling. What does it do? It keeps pulling. Oh, I'll be darned. All right, we don't want to freak Efren out too much. What was your name? Efren. What is your name? Dimitri. Dimitri. Oh, I'm sorry, Dimitri. It's got the heads up display right here so I can see my lane right in front of me, my speed, the highway speed. I'm sure you can change all that around. Does it? Yeah, you're not going to pick it up on camera. It shows me right now there's a car in front of me really close. Very nice. That's high definition right there. That's futuristic. That is nice. I, I don't know if I'll ever get used to it. That is futuristic. But the quality on that image is really nice. We in eco mode, Dimitri? Just, yeah, Is eco this hybrid? Yeah. Hybrid. <laughs> right? It's already got 152 miles on it. This thing's practically used. Dimitri, I, I gotta get the use press on it. It's got 152 miles on it. Let's see, I'll trade in my truck plus you guys give me 40 grand on top of it for all the extras. What is what is this button, Dimitri? Is this turn on the trailer mode? For trailer, yep, exactly. So if I can I press it right now? Uh it's better when you park, of course. <laughs> Nobody knows what happens if I press it. Yeah, it's, it's better when you park. Okay, we won't we won't press it while we're driving. How many speakers sound system? Yeah, we didn't even try that. Yeah, let's try them. Both. Go ahead. Yeah. Yo, we got some Kenny Rogers playing. Does it have XM? Let's yes, go to XM channel 45. Which one is that? Hippity hop. Let's move that dope, all right? Turn it up a little bit. This is what it's like with West, guys. Dimitri, what's your favorite type of music? I'm, I like like more like a rock. All right, good. Classic, Classic good. stuff, yep. Nah. Oh, so, oh. Drive mode and then the, the one with the trailer, so you just... So left is trailer. Normal, yep. All right, left is trailer, so right you, is you kind off of, road. Yeah, so you kind of don't... So they don't give you, you don't have the window sticker? Window sticker, 78,000. No, 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 not the price, the options. Yeah, do you oh, have the, the do, is the sticker in the glove box or something? Oh, you got care, the online. I don't care about the price. Oh. <laughs> got the Denali Ultimate Package. I don't know why when you on the hood the little latch in the cab it always has a car on it. You'd think by now they'd put one on the truck on it. Yep, we got battery one over here. Battery. Got your intake off the L5P hood, which is actually a real intake. It comes in right there. Looks like you got even less room under the hood of these. You got a nice tray right here. Wes, this is where you put all your tools when you're working on it. They got away with the big engine cover. They got the little tiny Duramax engine cover. Little, little plasticky. Yeah, I think I like the I like the jet black better than the two-tone. Dark walnut, dark ash. See, it doesn't even show it really there in the pictures. Can you go to a different picture? Yeah, so if you were to do it on the website, you wouldn't even notice that that's like a, a blue color inside there. Yeah, you can climb up in it, Dimitri. You, you just try? climb on a wheel, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not a monster truck. There you go, bro. The step comes down. Hey, look at Hop this up in there, guy. Dimitri. Come on. Look at this. You want to take it for a test drive? <laughs> can I sell it to you, Dimitri? Yeah, sure. Let's reverse the rolls. I'll sell you this truck. There you go. Oh, you got it. Come on. Pants are yeah. a little tight. Yeah, you got to pull the pants up. There you go. Yeah. Hop up in there, man. Make yourself comfortable. Full custom interior. No, you did a good job, guys. Especially that the handmade. Yup, yup. And it's so high. 
you can see a lot. Oh, if you're in traffic, you know if there's an accident 20 cars ahead. And if, even if, if you hit something, so what? It's behind you, down there somewhere. There you go, see, you got it. And you ain't gotta worry about looking back because you don't have a camera back there. Yeah, you don't need even to look back at that truck. <laughs> you know? I guess you would look good in this, Dimitri. You wanna buy it? No more torsion bro. Mm -hmm. No more riding on the bump stop from factory. You know, go look at those factory trucks. They ride yeah. on the bump stop. It rides like a like a dump truck. <laughs> oh, the Jeep is better? No. In fact, no. He said this one is better. That's better than a Jeep. That's right. That's right. What do you think, Wes? Is this the one, buddy? Is this the one? A little murdered out Escalade? Well, this one's not. Oh, it's a little bit. The other one over there. Watch the steps, though. Big and blocky. Those steps just get in the way. And they're heavy. These Escalades are too low for those big old steps. Like, it just gets in the way to, to hit it. But the one thing I don't like about the Escalades is all of these buttons in here. Like it, no, nothing's a real button. It's all like this pressure pad stuff, but everything's just, nothing works right. Like everything's hard to find. There's way too many features in the dash. Like everything's confusing. I like things simplified. Uh, maybe I'm just dumb like that. I don't know. But even when you try and get the thing to flip up, um, there you go right there. So you got your little hidden compartment. But if you don't know what every button does, things start to get pretty confusing. The Escalades are nice, but I actually prefer the Tahoe's like infotainment system. What do you think, Wes? Are you a buyer today? Absolutely not. Well, Wes was not very impressed. I don't know. I feel like GM is always behind when it comes to like their new redesigned vehicle. I gotta say, I'm I'm still not a fan of the interior. Now that I sat in it, now that I drive it, I think like you know, mine's a little mess right now. But this giant cubby right here just makes more sense. You got way more options up underneath here. I don't know. I just feel like this flows better than the new one. The new one looks like they just kind of slapped everything on this flat faced wall. But that being said, like, you know, I kind of want to get into a new truck. So we told them to be on alert and be on the lookout. If a white one comes in, which I think they said, I don't know, I know they got a, an all-terrain coming in, but they're going to be on the lookout for a white one. They're going to give me a call. We're going to come back and maybe that'll help me sway my decision. And Wes, what color are you looking for? I know you're in the market, dude. You want something. You're ready to get rid of your truck, huh? For the right price, you'll sell it? Yeah, I mean, I love my truck, and I obviously made it. I got it to where I want it, and I, uh, I mean, yeah, I would let it go, but it had to be something worth worth what was put into it. Well, if you guys are really in the market for Wes's truck, uh, yeah, shoot him an offer. You never know. At SoCal underscore 6.2 on Instagram. See, I would hate to sell this truck. Like, I'd almost rather give this truck away. And sell it. I'd rather keep it. Oh, I mean, I, I'd take, I'd take it if you're giving it away. Is you gonna take what, it? Is that what you're saying? Uh, we'll talk, Wes. We'll talk later. All right, guys. Well, with that, we're gonna wrap up another video. Who knows what the future holds in terms of new trucks? But you know, we we know we're doing the Tahoe build for SEMA. I would love to get into a 2020. I'm just scared also of buying a 2020 and not waiting for like the half year because when I bought my 2015, I missed out on a lot of features that the 2015 and a half came with, and I ended up spending like three or four grand just to bring that truck up to what a 2015 and a half was and what I should have got. Maybe something's coming. So if you have not subscribed already, please click subscribe. That way you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforwardapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, like a brand new truck, an Escalade, whatever Wes is gonna buy, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.